Hi guys, welcome to Hanyelas. Today I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate cookies. Yay! These are so good, you're gonna love them. I adapted the recipe from Lila Loa. Georgiane posted her recipe a few years back and I added a few extra ingredients to make it super special. All right, let's start. Here is all-purpose flour. I'm also adding baking powder and salt. I'm using dark cocoa powder. Two eggs at room temperature. One tablespoon espresso powder. If you're making this for kids, I'll make the coffee. Brown sugar, granulated sugar. Room temperature, unsalted butter. And I'm using vanilla extract and almond extract. Start by sifting the flour with baking powder. And also you're gonna have to sift the cocoa powder. My cocoa powder has lots of lumps in it. And I'm also adding coffee powder. I'm just gonna quickly grind it up so it's powder form. And then you wanna sift it. Break the eggs. Oops, there is a shell, so I'm gonna take care of it now. Get the shell out. To your eggs, you want to add half tablespoon vanilla extract and half tablespoon almond extract. All right, now we're ready to start. You want to beat butter your brown sugar and granulated sugar for about two minutes with your stand mixer. Make sure that you scrape the bowl a few times. After two minutes you can slowly start adding your egg mixture. For some reason my camcorder didn't record. After you mix in the, all the egg, you want to add cocoa powder. Make sure you do this on low speed. And once you have cocoa powder all mixed in, we can start adding flour. I like to add flour in three additions and then beat on low speed. Alright, now we can dump everything into a clean bowl. You can use a bowl where you sifted the flour, this way you eliminate extra dishes. This dough, it's gonna seem kind of soft. Don't worry about it. Once it's chilled, it's gonna come together nicely. So you just wanna roughly knead it so you don't have any flour showing. And then you wanna wrap it in a plastic wrap into a disc. Once your dough is chilled, we can start making cookies. This is what it looks like inside. Roll out the cookies into about quarter inch thick between two pieces of parchment paper. And you can repeat the process again until you are done with all the cookie dough.
Place the cookies on a baking sheet that you lined with parchment paper. Once baked, cookies, as you see, will look puffed up. You have to let them cool completely. They're gonna flatten as they cool. And then you can uh, place them in a container. This is what they look like once they are cooled. These cookies will store for up to two weeks in an airtight container. You can also decorate them with royal icing or you could drizzle some dark chocolate on top or dip them in chocolate. They are really, really yummy. I hope you'll try this recipe. When you're looking for cocoa powder, uh, you can use also Hershey. Unsweetened cocoa powder is really great or their dark cocoa powder. And if you're wondering if I have a sugar cookie dough recipe, yes I do, you can find it on, in my other video. And the video also includes tips and tricks on cookie baking. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.